<laughs> All right, my friend. Now, since we have actual dice to see who goes first, poker time. Uh, pair of fives. High three. I guess high five. Okay, I think you won that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. All right, my friend. Best to you. Oh, I'm just going to do it. Uh, nudged it a teeny tiny bit. Let me see if I can get that set back up. Alright. And you see, you'll be able to play, I take it? Yeah. Alright. Seven? Seven, okay. Hello, everyone. It's Jay, probably better known as T1 Glistener Elf. <laughs> dead to me. You're dead to me. <laughs> okay, okay. I had to. Are All you right. keeping? I'm keeping. Alright, sorry about it. <laughs> Go Alright. Forest Arbor Elf, mm -hmm. past turn. Go ahead. This is this is awkward. Okay, not. <laughs> oh, that was an email. All right, shock. Yep. <laughs> you know how that goes. Let's just set out our our uh, land destruction creature. Pass turn. <laughs> turn. There may be hope for me yet. Utopia Sprawl. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to say red. Yep. No okay. Fetch. Why not? <laughs> Timing's a little... Yeah, it works. It works. Mm. It's all good. Um... I would like to go to combat. Sure. Hiya! Swing for three. Yep. Blip, blip, blip. Hello. One more. There we go. Um, actually, for this match, oddly enough, I think we are going to fetch. Mm -hmm. We are going to get out a basic mountain. Yeah, basic mountain. Let me just tell you a little bit about my hand. All right. Full Art Mountain, Battle for Zendikar Mountain. As much as I'm not a big fan of the frame, it's it's the unevenness. It's so much thinner at the top than at the bottom. I do very much like the art. Sam Burley did a good job with that one, in my opinion. And what really turned me on to it, one was the, the mist going along the center, and then two, right down here you see these little vines coming out of the, the rock. Mm -hmm. Like two mana. We're going to cast a Simeon Spirit Guide. Then we'll pass the turn. Yeah, that's what that card is used for. <laughs> that's, uh... Yeah, that's a thing. You got it, man. Exile. Oh yeah, you know the drill. Then my next turn. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's it. Oh, okay. That was, a. Uh, that was a cycle. It was a two mana cycle. Minamo. Yeah. Just. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. What does Jace like to do? Yep. 
I'll let you hold it, because last time we dropped it, I dropped it. Uh, bottom left? Okay. Here. And go ahead. Alright, my friend. I would like to go to combat. Yep. Just that. Yes, so two are going at... Well, it, Jace is at five right now, but we're, we're getting to that. Oh, I, I see what you're thinking. Um, we're actually going to swing two at Jace and three at you. Okay. Although, yes, Jace does die. Oh. Lightning bolt to finish it off. What doesn't grow dies, and what dies grows the Tarmogoyf. Okay. But it's still my turn. I'm going to Fulminator Mage to hit yep. the Minamo. School at Water's Edge. And by the way, now we have time to do a price check. We have Creature, Instant, Landwalker. Planeswalker, Land. And uh, yeah, so it's a 4-5. Unfortunately, that is Exile, your sorcery is. <laughs> so I don't get that. But, um... Yeah, we're just going to pass the turn. So... Put down that it's a four or five. Oh wait 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 wait! I have these for a reason. You're you're good. Keep going. I'm just getting the green dice for Tarmogoyf. I'm going to exhaust you. Ooh, that's that's good. Okay, yeah, fair yeah. enough. Go ahead. Let me just set that aside so I can't knock it over. Mm -hmm. You know how it goes. Tarmogoyf! Yep. Oh, by the way, now it's a 5-6. Yeah. That's a sorcery. There it is. Whee! Um... I'll pass the turn. Let me represent lethal. Time to go off, my friend. Or find a cryptic. No. Okay. Hey. Or targeting me. <laughs> okay. So I had uh, to. Next turn. Next turn. All right. Mm. I did what I could. It's out of my hands now. Or target me. Fair enough. Next turn. Mm -hmm. It's not going up lands. If you have Snapcaster Exhaustion, that's effectively another time walk. Oh, I should have said for the audience, because Exhaustion is not a very common card. Um, it is. It makes it where opponents do not. They do not untap their lands or creatures during their next turn. For um, three mana. Past turn. Okay. Do you need me to stop at any point? No. Right. Okay. We'll get there. So obvious cryptic is obvious, I suppose. Oh, I go here, man. Well, I would like to go to combat. Uh. Tap draw. Uh, you have succeeded at tapping down my team. It, um, um, we are going to float red here and tap Arbor Elf to untap it and then use that red mana to bolt your face. Okay. But yes, the, the team has been tapped down otherwise. Get that value. Okay. And you draw, yes. Uh, main two? Yep. Wait a second. Not yet. Okay, we've spent the one on the bolt. One, two, three. Okay, so good. Fulminator range. Yep. I would like to blow up your gemstone caverns. 
And then I will pass the turn. Fulminator is a jerk. Visions. Visions are scary, yeah. Okay. My guess is if he's contemplating this decision, it means he can make it one more turn. Scalding turn, okay. Giga Drouse. Maybe. Giga Drouse, Exhaustion, another cryptic command, but we're doing it now. Or, uh, getting the mana for it now. Or, I guess, Jace Unsummon. That could buy you a turn. Times uh, one, two, three, four. All right, you got it. Um, yeah, not much I can do on it. Well, wait a minute. Nope. Sadly, <laughs> it doesn't work the way I hoped it would. All right, I'll draw for turn. Yep. Pass turn. Uh oh. Warp. Warp again. Go for it. Next time. Yes. <laughs> cycle. Cycle. Uh, um, fast turn, stop on up here. Say it ain't so, bro. <laughs> Alright. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, Giga Girls five times. Uh, I want to stop on <laughs> Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. <clears throat> that is effectively a time walk. Uh oh. Chase. Unsummon? Unsummon. Alright. Goyf in hand. Go ahead. Anything on my upkeep this time? You jerk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, there's one mana left. Spell Pierce doesn't do it. There aren't a lot of cards that will here. Um, but I think the obvious play is we have to take the Jace out first. So two at Jace, one at you. Yep. All right. Put you to three. Cast the Tarmogoyf. Mm -hmm. So five, six again, and play a tap stomp the ground. Pass the turn. Yeah. Was there already instances then? Yes, yeah, so instance were already in. So okay. it's creature because you know lightning bolt is an instant. Right. Uh, yeah. But yeah, okay. yeah. That was a little hidden there. Uh, land, planeswalker, sorcery. Modern. Yes. Exhaustion, searing vision should be our sorceries, and time warp now. Obviously, I don't have Bolt in hand, otherwise I would have finished it, so... Right, that's game. I didn't, uh, I didn't draw the flames. Uh, well, game game two, then. Yeah. Tarmogoyf. 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 Here's a question I should have started the video off with, but I'll ask now. Who is your favorite superhero? If you had... if you have one. If you had to say. I'm not really sure. <laughs> You know, for me, it's Spider-Man, actually. Partially because his costumes, since it covers his whole body, he could be anyone, and so it's a little bit more relatable, I suppose. But also because he's not Superman, the only things that can compete with me are things that can destroy galaxies. You know, it's, he's more vulnerable, and that makes for uh, more impactful drama, I guess. He's, he's more likely to be in danger, and so the audience is more invested in. Like, if you see a show like Yu-Gi-Oh, does Yugi ever lose to Kaiba? 
Unless Kaiba cheats. Does he ever lose to Kaiba? I don't think he does. And you know, because he's the main character. He does lose, just not to Kaiba. Oh my god, am I gonna do it? I, I wanna do it so... I wanna meme so hard. We're gonna keep this hand. This is, this is the dumbest thing. This is the dumbest thing. Alright. Alright. Well, first, let's fix this. Man. Okay. Tell me that you wouldn't, if you had the opportunity, do this. <laughs> the chance. Ahem. I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm a little caught up in how awesome my first turn is going to be. Okay. Sure. Heavily invested in Darkness. how stupid my first turn is going to be. <laughs> you ready? Yes. Let's do it. Do it. Okay. You know, we don't have to now, Jay. We can take it slow. <laughs> no. F that. <laughs> Triple Simeon Spirit Guy. Blood Braid Elf. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Blood braid into Arbor Elf. Feels bad, man. Swing for three. Yep. Feels bad, man. That is not what I was hoping for. I was hoping for maybe a stone braid or something. And then we'll pass the turn, sad as can be. Triple Simeon Spirit oh, Guide. Oh. Nah. Purple shift play that's a bit. Serum? Cool. Welcome to, to modern turn one blood braid elf. Okay, new channel name, T1 blood braid elf. Fulminator. Set my mm -hmm. seal of stone rain on the board. Not quite. And then pass the turn. Seal of stone rain. If that's not an album name. Go ahead. Combat? Sure. Swing six? Yep. Fulminator again. Mm -hmm. Pass turn. Or we can remand it. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's a good play. Remand. Absolutely. Because that, that would be lethal if you didn't. Yeah. Lethal on board. And the turn. Okay. Yeah, put you to seven. They're all islands. The reason he has fetch lands in his deck is because he has Jace, and so it gives him a way to actually get Ancestral Recall. It gives him a way to properly play his Brainstorms. Deck thinning is also slightly part of it, but it's, it's mostly just turning on the true Brainstorm. The Legacy Recall. There's a reason why Brainstorm is restricted in Vintage. Yes. In case you don't play Vintage, it is restricted there. Okay. Go ahead. I mean, I gotta do it, because I don't want to open myself up to Cryptic next turn. 
And plus, as you know, I already have one in the hand, so you know, less of an opportunity cost. All right, my friend, I would like to go to combat. Sure. I'm going to swing four at you. Yeah. yeah. I would like to cast Stone Rain on one of your islands. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's a card. That is a card. Alright, this is how we get started. Pass turn. Draw two. Uh, okay. Um, so yeah, Blood Braid on turn one, even into Arbor Elf, still kind of worked out. Um, that's a thing, I suppose. So, you didn't get to see the sideboard card. Choke. Because this deck wants to meme hard on the, on the blue decks. On the Jace decks. So it's actually four chokes. Uh, yeah. Which may be a bit excessive, admittedly. Um, I don't know how to build the sideboard for this. And by the way, cards I took out? Three of the Blood Moons left one in, it still does a few things, and Koth of the Hammer. Which maybe could have been Chandra Torch, so that I didn't have redundancy. There'd be one Chandra Torch, one Chandra Pyromancer, one Koth. But Torch is just so much better than Koth that I took it out. There are times when Koth is better, actually. The middle ability to make a bunch of mana so you can Koth and Stone Rain them, or something like that, on a given turn. And the emblem gives you some inevitability against a deck like Lantern, so I do like Koth, but Koth versus Torch, just no. Just, just no. <laughs> Not even. Alright, there's that. Oh, and by the way, what did you do for sideboards? Alright, thing in the... yeah, yeah, thing in the ice. Did not want to show up. Our sideboards did not want to show up. Well... Fair enough. Ooh, Tormod's Crypt. Now, I have to know, what was the Tormod's Crypt for? The, for the Goyfs? Uh, I don't think it makes... So, because Goyf cares about both players' graveyards, I, I'm not sure it makes the cut from this deck. Players, so. Yeah, if it were Relic. Uh, and it probably should be Relic, honestly, instead of Tormod's Crypt. Um, maybe Tormod's Crypt could go into the Zero CMC control deck, which could give its Relics over to this deck. That's probably how it should go. I mean, one is a zero CMC deck, after all. Yeah. 